Do you want to fly instrument approaches with the Aberdyne IFD? Let me show you how to do that in five minutes. Special thank you to Avionics Source, where you can buy the avionics I fly. Let's get started. We have a flight plan from Cedar Rapids to Muscatine, Iowa, KMUT. And we're told to expect the RNAV runway 24 approach in Muscatine, starting at Wilty intersection. To load that approach into the GPS, press the procedure button on the right side of the IFD and you'll get the various instrument approaches at your destination. Using either the touchscreen or the bottom right rotary knobs and the enter key, select the approach you want to load. Here I am selecting the RNAV24 approach. Next, select the initial approach fix at which you want to begin the approach. Here I pick Will T as the point at which to start the approach. We'll look at vectors to final later in this video. On the FMS page, flight plan tab, you can see that the waypoints for the approach have been added to the flight plan, including the waypoints for the published missed approach segment. But you can see something else here. KMUT, our destination airport, is still our active waypoint. That is the waypoint we're navigating to now. And following KMUT, there's a gap in the flight plan before the initial approach fix. What does that mean? Well, anytime there are parts of the flight plan which are not connected in a meaningful way, the IFD places a gap between them. If Wilty, the initial approach fix, had been in our flight plan already, then the IFD would have just added the approach from there, without a gap. But in this case, we were headed direct to the airport, and when ATC told us to expect the RNAV24 approach, we did not yet know exactly when to start that approach. We were still flying direct to the destination airport. Changing that and joining the approach can be done in one of several ways. One of them is to hit the Activate Approach soft key. This jumps past the gap and makes the initial approach fix we selected earlier the active waypoint, turning us direct to the IAF. You can also use the Direct To function to go to the initial approach fix or a downstream fix on the approach as directed by ATC. In fact, when we selected the Activate Approach soft key earlier, that led to the same result as if we had manually commanded a Direct To to the initial approach fix. Another way is to manually delete the gap from the flight plan. You can remove it with the clear button, the same way you delete other waypoints, and then delete the airport as the active waypoint so that the IFD sequences to the initial approach fix behind it. You can also use the activate leg soft key instead of going direct to a waypoint. This is useful when ATC gives you a heading to join a leg of the approach. On this RNAV24 approach, if we're given a heading which will intercept the leg between Wilty and EDAGE, I can select EDAGE and tell the IFD to activate that leg. This retains the original course from Wilty to EDAGE instead of going straight there from my present position, which is what Direct2 would have done. When it comes time to fly the missed approach, depending on your FMS settings in the IFD and also depending on your general avionics setup, there may be manual steps involved to enable the missed approach and to sequence between legs on the missed approach segment. The former is a setting of the IFD's user options, auto enable missed, and I suggest you set this one to on. Manual sequences may be needed when a leg is dependent on altitude, like here in Chicago Midway, where the instructions say to climb to 1100 feet and then turn left to heading 150 and climb further. If your IFD is connected to a barrel corrected altitude source, such as a modern EFIS or primary flight display, it knows when we have reached 1100 feet and it will then sequence to the next leg automatically. In simpler setups, you will have to tell the IFD when the appropriate altitude has been reached to sequence to the next leg. And you do that by hitting the Sequence Leg soft key on the FMS page. Now, a word about vectors to final. In real life IFR flying, ATC often vectors an aircraft to the final approach course. And the IFD, of course, offers a vectors to final option instead of selecting an initial approach fix. And if you select this option and activate the approach, you will end up with a long straight leg to the final approach fix, aligned with the final approach course. This is very easy and helpful with many simple approaches. However, if there are any step down fixes on a long final prior to the final approach fix, you will no longer have those step down fixes in the IFD's flight plan. Such is the case in our earlier example, the RNAV24 at Muscatine, which has an altitude constraints along the final approach course at EDH prior to the final approach fix. And without EDH in your flight plan, how would you know when to descend? You might say you could wing it by looking at your position on the approach plate on the iPad, but that's not how you're supposed to navigate under IFR, and you also lose the IFD's VNAV guidance that way to help you fly the step downs. So here's a better way. Rather than choosing vectors to final, load the approach from an initial approach fix, which will include all the step down fixes on final approach. Then, once you know where exactly the vector from ATC will let you join the final approach course, you can activate that leg. That way, your location relative to step down fixes will always be clear. 
Finally, a little tidbit about something you may have seen in the past and maybe wondered what was going on. If you load an approach into the IFD with an active flight plan in place, you will see a gap followed by the approach after the destination airport, as I showed you before. However, if you enter a flight plan on the ground and load an approach before activating the flight plan, then the IFD will add the gap and approach right after your origin airport. And that's it for approach basics on the Avidyne IFD. Next up, in part 4, are configurable data blocks and some of the ways in which you can customize the IFD display to your liking. Again in 5 minutes. Thank you for watching, and a special thank you to my sponsors and to my supporters on Patreon who helped make these videos possible.